If the Class A Asea is the Toyota Corolla of cars in GTA 5, then this, the Joe-built Mammatus, is the Toyota Corolla of planes in GTA 5. Not a car. After recently watching Mr. Begular's review on the 1975 Cessna 150N, I just had to do this plane. While it's not quite as close to the 150 as far as specs, the Joe built Mammatus is fairly close in its design. This is the uh, quote from the Elitist Air Travel website. It says this Affordable, easy to fly, health good with rivets. The Mammatus is one of the best selling light aircraft in history, and a whole lot of fun to land in high winds. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. The Mammatus is like your basic bare bones air transportation. Actually, the Cuban 800. However, the Cuban is about 60 grand less, and it holds less passengers and is less aero aero aerodynamic, aerobatic, aerobatic in flight. I'll be reviewing the Cuban probably at some point later in the future. We'll see. You know, I never expected Jilba, a company that makes heavy trucks like the Phantom, to build planes like the Laser and the Vela. I mean, I feel like in like when Rockstar was designing the game, they were like, "Fuck, dude, what what do we pick for a manufacturer?" And, and his friend was like, "I don't know, man, just like pick one at random." And so Joe Bill was selected. Um, now the the Mammatus doesn't really have any history in the series. This is GTA Five is the first game that the plane was featured in. However, a close cousin to the plane would probably be the infamous Dodo, which the Mammatus resembles the design of the Dodo from GTA 3. Well, I'll be at the stubbier wingspan in GTA 3. Uh, the one from San Andreas and the one from LCS, which also had the uh, stubby, useless wings. It also could resemble the uh, Skimmer from Vice City, the only difference being it has pontoons rather than a landing gear. I will admit, though, the um, Skimmer is also closely you know, more like the Dodo we have in GTA 5, which I will love to cover in another video. Despite having only two doors, the Mammatus can actually seat four people. Two get into the uh, regular doors, while the other two just kind of teleport into the plane. A bit odd, I tried to recreate this in my game, but unfortunately I was unable to. Maybe AI partners can't teleport into the plane? I'm not sure. It makes you wonder why Rocker didn't apply this to cars that clearly have four seats, but only two doors. It was at this point I wanted to make a rant about how in the mission Father Son, where you chase after Michael stolen yacht with his wife Sentinel, you can see three people. Franklin in the front passenger seat and Jimmy in the back. I mean, come on Rockstar, just let me see four people in a coupe. Anyway... The Mammatus is primarily based on a Cessna 172, which was built from about 1956 to 1986 in its first run. In its second run, it was built from 1996 up until now. Uh, it's kind of hard to pinpoint a year for this model in the game because the design is basically made unchanged since the 60s. Um, I just put a ballpark in 1975 because it's the same year as the one from Mr. Regular's video that came out instead. The Joe Build Mammatus features a two bladed propeller with a fixed landing gear. Under the hood contains a single overhead cam V8 engine. Not far off from real life model, which featured an air cooled, flat six, naturally aspirated engine, which had horsepower ranging from 145 to 160. Top speed of the aircraft is about 108, so it's probably about pretty close to the real life version of the, of the aircraft in the real world. Despite the aircraft being based on a training plane, the Mammatus is actually quite maneuverable and aerobatic. I attempted to do some stunts with this plane, but most of them ended quite poorly. As you probably could tell in my previous clips there, I crashed a lot. Uh, I'm not exactly the best pilot there is, I'm more of a helicopter guy, but planes, I can hold my own pretty well. Um, as far as combat ability, this is a civilian aircraft, so uh... You don't have any weapons except for whatever you have on your person, so a pistol or maybe an SMG if you're able to even do drive-by with this thing, which probably you wouldn't be able to. Um, 
However, in the hand of a skilled pilot, you could probably dodge a couple homing rockets, and the plane is can take a tiny bit of abuse. I, in my footage here, one rocket can knock out the rudder, but the plane is still easily maneuverable with just the flaps. Um, I took a couple more rockets, as you can see in this video, though the AI is a bit cheesy when it comes to this kind of stuff. I was using AI, not multiplayer session. Um, but two rockets, that's it. The engine's dead, and you basically just you're basically running on whatever momentum you have left on the plane. Um, well, overall, the Mammoths is a mighty fine aircraft. Cheap, reliable, easy to fly. It may not be fast, but that's the thing. It's not designed to do that. It's just bare bones air travel. 1975 Joe Build Mammoths. Class A Asaya of the skies. Well, that's a bit at the end of my script there, so uh, this is a bit of an unscripted part of the end here. I must say I had a lot of fun making this video because I actually really like aircraft. Not really a big fan of civilian aircraft like these ones, but I had a definitely a lot of bit, a bit of fun looking up the uh, real life counterpart, the Cessna 172. Um, and I had a lot of fun flying the plane, because I haven't really flown many planes in GTA 5 for a long time. I'm a little bit rusty with it, but uh, it was a lot of fun. As I said before, this is a really good plane, you know, it, 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 a good plane for what it's worth, you know. Uh, what I didn't know at the time is this plane is really good at flying upside down. Like, like the laser is good, but this plane is like, God, it's flying upside down. If you want to fly upside down in the tunnel up under um, San Kuno, you can do that. I, I wouldn't do it because I suck at it, but uh, I saw Pi Realm Gaming do it. And I was like, holy crap. This thing is like OP as shit. So I had a lot of fun making this video. Uh, I, I love aircraft. I, I specifically love Russian aircraft, specifically helicopters. So I'm going to have a lot of fun talking about the Savage sometime in another video. Um, as far as my next video goes, um, you guys are welcome to tell me what you want me to do next. Um, I was going to do the Bravado Yuga. I might do that next, or I might do the PCJ600, which is a classic bike from the series. It's been to almost all the games. You know, it's not exactly the best bike, but it's one of my favorites. So, um, I guess that's it, really. Uh, I had a lot of footage, like of like flybys and stuff, as you can see here. Um, it took a while to edit because I had to keep moving the camera back to the plane. It's really slow to pan the camera around. But I think it came out pretty good even though there's a bit of a graphical glitches here and there. But that's mostly due to the uh, open camera V, which, you know, restricts the limit for the uh, Rockstar, edit Rockstar Editor. So, anyway guys, uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know, comment. Comment down below. Tell me if it wasn't good and tell me it was bad. I don't know. Anyway, guys, this has been RCR San Andreas. Uh, we'll see you guys next video. And uh, stay safe out there, everybody. Have a great week.